Percy worked hard at the new harbor. The workmen needed stone for their building. Toby helped, but sometimes the loads of stone were too heavy, and Percy had to fetch them for himself. Sometimes he'd see Thomas. Well done, Percy. Sir Topham Hatt is very pleased with us. An airfield was close by. Percy heard the airplane zooming overhead all day. The noisiest of all was a helicopter. Stupid thing, said Percy. Why can't it go and buzz somewhere else? One day, Percy stopped at the airfield. Hello, said Percy. Who are you? I'm Harold, said the helicopter. Who are you? I'm Percy. What really great arms you've got. They're nice arms, said Harold. I can hover like a bird. Don't you wish you could hover? Certainly not. I like my rails, thank you. I think railways are slow, said Harold. They're not much use and quite out of date. He whirled his arms and buzzed away. Percy found Toby at the quarry. I say, Toby, that Harold, that stuck-up whirlybird thing, says I'm slow and out of date. Just let him wait. I'll show him. He collected his freight cars and started off still fuming. Soon they heard a familiar buzzing. Percy, whispered his driver. There's Harold. He's not far ahead. Let's race him. Yes, let's, said Percy. Percy pounded along. The cars screamed and swayed. Well, I'll be a ding-dong dang, said the driver. There was Harold. The race was on. Go it, Percy, he yelled. You're gaining. Percy had never been allowed to run fast before. He was having the time of his life. Hurry, 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 he panted to the cars. We don't want to, we don't want to, they grumbled. It was no use. Percy was pocketing the lot. Shovel for dear life. Well done, Percy, shouted the driver. We're gaining. We're going ahead. Oh, good boy. Good boy. A distant signal warned them that the harbor wharf was near. Peep, peep, peep. Brakes, conductor, please. The driver carefully checked the train's headlong speed. on the wall. Oh dear, groaned Percy. I'm sure we've lost. The fireman scrambled to the cab roof. We've won! We've won! He shouted. Harold's still hovering. He's looking for a place to land. Listen, boys, the fireman called. Here's a song for Percy. Said Harold, helicopter too, our Percy, you are slow. Your railway is out of date and not what you should know. But Percy with his stone cars did the trip in record time. And we beat the helicopter on our old branch line. Percy loved it. Oh, thank you, he said. He liked the last line best of all and was a very happy engine. Hi everyone, it's Thomas. If you like this episode, hit the subscribe button or send a comment and let me know what other big adventures you would like to see. And remember, little engines can do big things. See you next time.